All right, so it's uh, it's uh, Tuesday, the 7th of May, I believe. I uh, went up and got a few buckets full of dirt up at my uh, secret location. I uh, come home, I got a brand new uh, Johnson 4,000 gallon a minute, or gallon an hour, excuse me, uh, electric pump. Thought I'd try it out, run these buckets through. You see, I got my mini hog up there. I got it set at a real low angle so I'm not losing any um, water out of the back end of it. Um, I also have down here, I have my little Royal 36 inch sluice as a finishing sluice on it. Got about three buckets of stuff I'm gonna put through this puppy today. Uh, I might raise the pitch up on that a little bit. I think I can afford a little bit without losing any water. Um, unclassified material over here that I got in that bucket over here. Um, right down there. Unclassified material, so I got a little uh, catch pan behind it. But I'm gonna go ahead and run this, run this stuff through and uh, see what we get today. I'll give you a little closer up look at the unit itself. Right there, running down into my trusty uh, collection can and uh, water flow looks really good on it. Of course, you guys have seen this. I got other videos on my mini, but um, if you want to go on the, and see it uh, in action, you know, with the action on, activity on the on the Gold Hog mat in it, I got a Razorback, I got Scrubber, and uh, the finishing one down there in the Royal is is all um, UR mat. Got some riffles on it, and I also have. Uh, have uh, some expanded metal on it. So that's what I'm using for the finishing in that little Royal stream sluice. I got a little leak uh, where it hooks onto the uh, gold hog, uh, mini hog, but oh well, you know, those things happen. So I'll just keep adding water. But there she is right there. And I'm gonna get to putting some dirt through there here, okay? So here we go. Got 4,000 gallons a minute flow, so I'm just going to hammer it through. Got real good action in this boiler plate in here. That's what I like about this setup. Is it really, really uh, breaks stuff up inside of here. And uh, real good action coming down through here. Uh, clearing out the bottom pretty good. Um, everything's looking really good right now. Got a few little leaks. They probably will seal up as I get some of that clay material going through it. We got really good action, really good boiling action here, breaking all this stuff up. And that's what you need. So I'm just going to keep hammering it in there with a the shovel. Normally out in the field, I use a different shovel. I just I just use a regular shovel and just feed it in. better. That's using the old noggin, huh? So I'm just putting this stuff in here pretty pretty fast, letting it clear out. What I might do is uh, go in and get a little bit of a jet dry and put it in it real quick. I think I'll do that. I got some rocks. They're cleaning up real good. This is the material I got off of a, an area up to clear water. I'm going to lift that pitch up just a touch. That should work right there. Perfect. There we go, rocking and rolling on it. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. That's a gold collecting bugger, I think. Really nice weather we got going on here. Um, beautiful, beautiful spring weather. Uh, it's today. 
about 80 degrees, 85 degrees. It's supposed to get even hotter this uh, later this week. Can't wait because I'm going to go up to an undisclosed location in north central Idaho next week on vacation and go do some uh, camping up there and possibly a little prospecting. So we'll see how it all goes. I'll give you a video of that. Beautiful country. I'm going to country that most people just dream about next week. So beautiful. But my wife and I spend as much time up there as we possibly can during the, the summertime. Uh, great getaway for us, you know. So anyhow, I'm just going to keep feeding these buckets through like this, same pace. Uh, it just got really good action. I think I'll show this to you. I know a lot of you already seen this on some of the other videos, but I'm gonna go ahead and show some that haven't, might see this for the first time, so here we go. Just dumping it right down into there. Look at that. Look how this just has this boiling action in here. Comes down off the, off the breaker plate back here and drops right down into the back of the sluice, down over the gold hog matting, down into my little mini sluice box, my Royal here. And so that's what it looked like. That's what it looks like coming down. Really nice action. I take this out in the field too, and uh, I'll tell you, this is just a neat little outfit, easy to pack around, easy to, to backpack in, just fits right on my, my backpack. Everything fits in their buckets, battery, and uh, I'm off and, and I'm off and going. So anyhow, I'll set this back over here for a little while longer, let you watch me work my tail off, and uh, let's see what we get after this. I'm thinking we're gonna get some good gold. Hard at it again. The hard part was last night when I was up digging on it. Took my trusty vacuum cleaner up, got some good material backing up out of crevices. A lot of this here was uh, stuff that was in that basalt formation that I told you about. And so it's uh, got a lot of gold in it. I'm expecting to find a lot of gold. I, I just haven't seen where you can take a shovel this size and outfeed this thing. The mats are clearing out really good. Just got really good action. I just haven't seen where you can outfeed it with a shovel this size. You can just hammer these bucket loads through. I, you can go a lot faster than what I am. It's just breaking it up really good, in, really good in here. Water's starting to get dirty already. <laughs> Only half a bucket in. I like having it kind of at this low angle because it gives that stuff a lot of time to really churn and break up any clays in there. There's a lot of clay and sand in this. It, it looks kind of sandy, but actually has just a huge amount of clay and it's really stuck to these rocks. And so I like to be able to have it in here for as much time as you can to get it all cleared up and then I'll just kind of rake it through with my hand. But most of the time you really don't have to, really don't have to do anything to this. Just kind of uh, clean off some of the, some of the rocks that get down the slots, but it's just a nice little setup that that gold hog guy did put together. I built my other one kind of based on this design. I built it myself. Used a South Yuba shell. Just bought the shell itself. Didn't get any matting. Put a back on it. Built my hopper. Uh, cost me about you know, 250 bucks for the whole thing. And I'll tell you what, it is a, a dirt moving machine. If that thing you can get, you can run like five tons an hour through that thing. 96 inches of sluicing capability. So anyhow, I'm gonna go to go ahead and uh, and keep hammering these buckets through, and I will uh, get back with you in a little bit and let you know what we got. Okay. Okay, so it's getting dark, getting dark out here, and uh, pour buckets through it. Let it uh, run out a little bit. I'm going to do a quick cleanup and I'll get back with you and uh, show you what we got.
Okay, so I gotta hurry up before it gets dark and I'll take one to my shop and I'll pan it out in there. Okay. Well, I'm done panning it out. Didn't get as much as I was hoping. I think you can see that. I'll try to zoom in for effect. But that's what I got. Real fine stuff. That's what that gold hog mat is good at doing. Um, I thought I'd get more than that. But uh, maybe I'm working a spot that somebody else has already worked. I think I am, but I, I uh, thought I'd try it anyhow. But that's the reveal. You know, I got some nice little pieces there, but you know, not, not what I wanted, but better, like I always say, than a kick in the pants. Well, I'll talk to you later.